Hi everyone, welcome to Down Home Eating with Candace. And today, guys, from the thumbnail, we have Burger King's new Whopper Ghost Pepper Sandwich. Woo! When I tell you, when I opened up the package and saw this orange <laughs> bun. <laughs> Oh, Lord. With droppings of little black uh, sesame seeds. I was shook. Oh, my gosh. The orange on this video is not going to give it justice. I'm sorry. You got to get this thing in real time. And the cheese is even orange, y'all. Oh, Lord. And I love spicy. So, I'm going to tell y'all what's on it. It has... Honor, and I'm gonna zoom in on this too for you guys. Let me turn my plate around. I'm on. There we go. It has okay a beef patty topped with spicy queso, bacon, jalapeno, Ghost pepper, chives, with on with seasonal orange and black sesame seed bun, bum, bum. Who thought about this idea? Bum. They said, you know what? We got to kick it up a notch, yo. With McDonald's doing all the dish. Burger King said, you know what? We going we gonna to bum it. <laughs> all right, y'all. As you can see, I'm very happy about this. I'm going to cut mine in half. Because I want to see the side it. Now, I'm not a Burger King girl like that. Oh, it has bacon. I didn't see that on the thing. Um, cause you know, I like, a, usually I like my chicken sandwich, my original chicken sandwich, not all these other chicken sandwiches, the original chicken sandwich. But I said, you know what, what, I'm here, I'm going to try this because I don't see about 10 videos of my peoples that I've been watching and they is like tearing it up and the last video i saw was more eats shout out to you girlfriend and you was chewing on my onion rings you was coming for my onion rings though but you know what leave my onion rings alone i know they good mm -hmm. <laughs> so i said you know what i'm getting this for lunch while i'm home working so let me open her up oh yes baby Look at that. Look at her. She not playing. You know I ordered from DoorDash. Mm -hmm. It's early. I ordered about 12 o'clock. Got here like in 20 minutes. Let's take a bite. I'm hungry. and This better be good and spicy the way I love it. <sighs> okay. 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 I got it. I got it. Y'all. I got it. Like a big bite too. All right, some heat's coming on the tip of my tongue. Okay, I like the bread that is firm. It's not one of them type of cheap bread. Taste the bacon. Whopper. Yes. Granted. It's got some heat to it. But it's not overpowering. Like you got two times spicy or. Mm. Mm -hmm. I did not add extra stuff. I know y'all be coming for me. Like, can it? Why you adding lettuce and tomato when it don't call for it? So I say, I'm going to pump my brakes on adding. These little, I guess they're the jalapeno crispies. They're crunchy. Mmm. Starting to feel it in my chest a bit. This is actually pretty good. 
Mmm. And I don't eat Burger King like that. No, I don't. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. I like the cheese. Look, uh, you see that cheese glistening a bit? Mmm. To save money, I got. Oh, girl. I got this. No combo. We got juice in there and stuff. I believe this was $8 and this was $3.99. A medium. Okay, Burger King, I see you with this. Hmm. I love the bread. It tastes fresh. You know what I mean? The bread tastes fresh. Usually it's not. It usually like falls apart. Now I'm wondering it doesn't fall apart because it doesn't have like my lettuce, my tomato, and those are wet items. And onion and stuff like that. Mmm. <clears throat> Look at me, y'all. I'm dipping. I'm a dipper. I'm a dipper by heart, child. Mmm. Y'all take that bite. Mmm. Mmm. It's a nice lunch. Mmm. 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 So, we're going to talk about a little story time. Listen to your instincts. Listen to your instincts. Always. If I ain't learned nothing, being a young buck, listen to your instincts. So one day, back in the days when the fam, the whole fam, we lived in an apartment complex. Y'all notice this is my first swallow of a drink and I got to tow it up. Yes. But anyways, I, one day I was walking downstairs. Now, mind you, there had been a lot of robberies or a car jack, you know, people taking cars and whatever at this area we used to stay in. I had went to a crime watch meeting at the apartment development, they had the police officers there. You know, they tell you what to do and try to do and all of that crap, right? Because I knew it was going on. And plus, I, plus, with those, you're able to meet your neighbors. Which, that's a good thing. Because everybody look out for themselves. Look out for you. So go to those type of meetings if they offer it. Oh. Uh, why... I don't know where I was going, but I went downstairs. We were on the second floor. And I saw this boy on the opposite side of the street, which it's not a main street. It's like apartment complexes or whatever. But I saw this dude walk from across the street, which is not normal. I mean, which is normal. But he looked just like trouble. He just was kind of scurvying over and whatnot. So I said, I said, hmm, I'm going to watch him a bit. So I got in my car. And I noticed the car that he got out was the same exact car as my husband's, right? Which I said, hmm, that's interesting. Which, you know what I mean? It's just instinct, right? So, my babe was in the apartment. You know, with the kids, whatever. So, 
I called him in the car. And I said, babe, look outside the window and make sure that dude's not looking at your car. Because he walked over and got the same exact car as you. And, you know, people do that for parts and whatnot. They try to just look in and see if you got a system, whatever, right? So he kind of like brushed it off like, yeah, 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 okay, I got you, whatever, whatever. I don't know if he looked in the window. I just went with my instinct. So let's say a couple of days passed. And sure enough. My baby come calling me. Or well, came back in when he was supposed to go to work. And he left at that time like 4 in the morning. Came back in and said, somebody stole my car. I said, oh my God, I I swear I know it's that dude. Somebody stole his damn car. Now mind you, he had a kill switch on his car. I, I told him. That's why men, listen to your woman. I told him to get a club on his car because we used to have clubs. That was a staple in D.C. because they stayed still in D.C. In Southeast, anybody from Southeast, you know what I'm talking about. With them little kids, still in cars, driving, going back and forth to Benning Road. Yep, y'all know what I'm talking about. Anyway, so... Well, Marble Pike, all up in them. Anyway, and he never did. That could have took time to try to, you know, try to maneuver to get out of, you know, the steering wheel column or whatever. But he did not get that. He said, no, I got to kill Switch. My homeboy had blah, 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 blah. Didn't work couple of days later obviously we contacted the police we got a police report da da j blah j blah j and they found the car they found him way higher than somewhere now mind you we in Broward County so that's a county over in Dade County so, got the car back. Didn't have any dents or anything like that. All he, all the person took, which I think I know who took it. I don't know this dude. I mean, I saw him. He took um his system. Because he had a system, a detachable system. But he had to detach in the house. So, it was like pointless. How you going to use the radio? No, but he took his speakers out of the car or whatever. But you know, it's just pay it just pay attention. Look, I know a lot of y'all are in your own world, y'all walking, y'all not really paying attention to your surroundings. Please pay attention to your surroundings, especially nowadays. This is the time where the crooks are out there. Holiday season. Y'all know that. Have y'all keys in y'all hand. Have it ready to get clicked. Throw them bags in that car and get in the car. You see any stupidness or a little a paper that's blocking your sight? Oh, well. Use a backup camera and keep on moving. Or whatever. Now they're using these air, what they call AirPods or whatever, where they tracking people. So if you get an alert on your iPhone, and I think they have that for um, Androids too. Start looking. You know what I mean? Just be hesitant. Of any bull crap that you see on your car. Because that's how people try to get your car or you. But guys, I'm going to go. Because 
I want to wrap this up for you guys. Thank you guys for listening and definitely listen to your instincts. Also, like, subscribe, click your notification bell for the next video. And I can't wait to share another story time with you. Drop down in the comments and let me know what you think. And has this ever happened to you as well? Okay, bye. Have a good one.